So here we are with uh, General Russell. General yeah. Russell, I understand that you are the director of the uh, operational liaison and reconnaissance team. Um, what does that entail, sir? Uh, the uh, OLRT stands for uh, Operational Liaison and Reconnaissance Team. But if indeed uh, we will conduct some uh, rekeys, the key term in this acronym will be liaison, meaning that this team is uh, tailored and organized to conduct a number of engagement with a, a, a range of uh, high-ranking authorities in either the host nation, uh, if we deploy in a NATO troop-contributing nation, or uh, with uh, any other type of uh, high-ranking military or civilian authority. Well, thank you very much, and I understand that this is just part of a quite an extensive uh, preparation program that you have underway. Are you content that uh, if, um, if the North Atlantic Council were to activate your team or activate JFC Brunson and the NATO Response Force, your team could respond in a proper manner, sir? I'm content because uh, this team has uh, gone under uh, a, a training that has extended from the beginning of January. Uh, with some key milestones and today the milestone where we integrate uh, the training of the OLRT uh, with a recall procedure uh, where uh, we uh, teach the people some uh, practical issues on how to implement the equipment they are given uh, to uh, equip the team. Thank you very much. So in your opinion, sir, NATO is ready for any um, crises that should evolve that, uh, that affect its member nations? Uh, in my mind, at this stage, NATO is well prepared to undertake any action if tasked to do so by uh, NATO headquarters. Uh, and in addition, and as I can repeat, uh, the uh, people from the OLRT are ready to go and have been well trained for that purpose. Excellent, sir. Thank you very much, General. Thank you. Thank you.